My name is Brian Kershisnik, and I'm a painter, an artist, a sculptor. One of the things that is remarkable to me about uh, Karl Bloch, there's rel a relationship they have, of course, to the subject matter, and that's generally where a lot of uh, the conversation centers. But, but Bloch really loved the stuff that makes a painting. He, he had a great relationship with the material. Just the, the texture of the paint, when he puts it on, it, 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 as someone who works with the same material, I can tell he's really enjoying himself. And I can just kind of get a sense of him painting, saying, oh, that's a good one. Uh, I love this, the subject matter. And, and there's, this, there's this remarkable little detail that Bloch utilizes, I think, really. Um, doesn't overdo, but uses really nicely. And there's this little kid on the right hand who's just looking right out. There is this this connection between the the subject and you. I, I actually uh, borrow that <laughs> from Carl um, uh, often in my paintings, where I just engage the viewer a little bit by having someone incidentally looking out. One of the things that is uh, remarkable to me about his work. Karl Bloch's Jesus is generally, it well, is immediately recognizable. I mean, Isaiah talks about him, you know, not being particularly beautiful. We have a hard time depicting him in artwork as not being particularly beautiful. But, but Karl Bloch's work was beginning to make a Jesus that you really might see is very influential, influential in my work. When the resurrected Lord first encounters the apostles, he says, peace be unto you. you know, and, and, in, and in film depictions, that's given, I mean, it just, it's just this very grand way. And I realized, having lived in the Middle East, that he said some version of Salam Aleichem, which is what you would say to your friend in the 7-Eleven. A reasonable translation would be, he said unto them, hello. The, the idea of approaching sacred subjects with reverence is bigger than just making them pretty. The reverence that you that you need to bring with you into sacred events needs to also include the m messy hair and the dirt and a little bit of food on your <laughs> on your clothes and you know just the things that are us that are our experience that life is not scrubbed and it wasn't scrubbed for Jesus either. The role of an artist and, and what I feel like Karl Bloch does is he makes me, after enjoying what he does with paint and, and the way he draws and the, and, the, and the beauty of the composition, is to go look at that. Go back to the words. Look at the scriptures. See what's in that account. See the things that were driving his imagination as he was depicting it. We don't necessarily find ourselves in circumstances where we're healing and miraculously influencing people's lives. But that, that beautiful human interaction is one that we can participate in all the time. As I've become more familiar with uh, Karl Bloch's altarpieces, I think it's the best one. <laughs> it's the best one. That's another thing that if I meet Karl Bloch that he might say, no, that's not my best painting. But but uh, I, uh, Carl, I think, I think it may be. <laughs>